What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna go ahead and continue working on our AMG GT guys. On our previous episode, I remember you guys seeing how we put everything together. I put the front bumper on, the headlights, got everything all lined up with the hood, the side to the fenders and everything else. Uh, but we still have some stuff to take care of. We still gotta paint on our rocker moldings. The part that we painted white, there's a bottom section of that rocker mold that also has to be painted black, guys. And on top of that, we have to do that on both sides. On the driver's side, it was kind of faded and kind of chipped off, probably in the Texas heat. Um, and we still gotta go ahead and do the rear bumper repair, actually, because on the rear bumper, there are scuffs and there's some damage on there. Same with the trunk right on top of that. So we're gonna go ahead and get right to it and go ahead and get all that stuff done. And so here's what I'm talking about over here. You can kind of see the primer that we have over here on this rocker molding that we repaired already. We went ahead and got everything all masked up. Um, same thing on this side. This is the part I was talking about where it kind of faded up and all that. You can look at the plastic. It doesn't really look that good. Um, looks like this stuff all peeled off too. And if I keep doing this, you can see how just peeling off all over the masking paper. Um, doesn't really look good at all. And it looks kind of faded to be honest. And this is probably from the UV rays or something like that. But we're going to go ahead and take care of all that. We're going to actually be using some of our SEMS uh, bumper coat. Um, you can use it on plastics and all that stuff. It's also flexible and it works really well with this stuff. No adhesion promoter is also required. And SEMS makes some really cool stuff. So we're going to go ahead and use this and uh, get this thing looking real clean. <laughs> man this is a lot of work guys look at this oh man i am breaking a sweat Whew, this is a thousand dollar job right here <laughs> Hey, Walmart's stepping up their game. Hey, Walmart got a bunch of stuff. Don't go to O'Reilly's to buy stuff. Walmart's the cheapest place to the same exact stuff. We called for an oil filter, actually. For What was that for? For the, the G-Wagon? Right? Yeah, O'Reilly's. $29.99 for a Mobile One filter. How much did we get it from Walmart? No, it was not $29.99. It was $19.99. Okay, how much was it at Walmart? Like $11. Same part number, right? Yep. Yeah, exactly. Walmart, there you go. What are you doing over there drinking your coffee? Recording and drinking coffee at the same time. Look at this. It's actually tea. Drinking on the job. It's not coffee. <laughs> <laughs> tea. Tea is always permitted. Yeah. Let me get this section. I want crooked over here. Oh, oh that'll cost you hundred bucks. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> What you said at? perfect. What are we at? You, 1900 now, right? You gave me an expectation of seeing perfection here. And yeah. I don't know. It'll be perfect once it's all done. Man, what if that would have just like, what if I caught it like right Are you here? trying to impress me here? I'm trying, I mean, shoot. What if I would have caught this right here? All over you. Know? Well, then you would have learned your lesson. That would have been all bad. That's it. Looks That's thousand really dollars. Thousand dollars right there per side. That's, That's a rip-off. That's two grand. Remember, That's don't forget a that. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, we gave you a hundred dollar discount already. What are you talking about? No, it's 1900. no, no. 
<laughs> hey, right over here, it's gonna be two grand right here. Boom. See that bottom spot we missed right there? That's two grand right there. I think I think the Christmas special is uh, like 100 percent off. <laughs> 50% off. How 100%. about that? We'll settle at a thousand. We'll settle at Friends and family. We'll discount. settle at a gift card. <laughs>look at that guys this whole entire side has turned out really nice coming out to this other side all the way over here same with this we got the masking off and we got everything all looking good so we're gonna go ahead and get started on the back body work and start pulling out all of our dents and getting it all ready for primer we're gonna go ahead and pull the car off the lift and then get started on the back body work on the bumper and on the trunk over there but literally the driver just pulled up from a Mercedes-Benz of Pineville there in North Carolina. And they brought all of our parts in that we were missing from underneath. Like our under tray panels, our fender liners, both of them, even the hardware. And a lot of the stuff he had to get from uh, another Mercedes dealer. I think these two fender liners came out of Mercedes-Benz of Texas. Look at that AMG that's engraved in them. And this under tray splash shield came out of New Jersey. But if you guys are ever in the Pineville, North Carolina area and you're looking for parts, hit up Dale over there at Mercedes-Benz of Pineville. Always gets us the right parts for a great deal and always hooks it up. But let's go ahead and get all this stuff on there and then we'll get this thing off the lift. that guys all the fender liners are in on this side there are two-part systems so we got all of them in just looks so much more cleaner 
And then we come over here, and unfortunately, we can only do the front side, not the rear side over here, only the front side towards the bumper. I don't know what was going on yesterday, but they sent me the same one that I've already have, which you can see is over there. Um, I need the other side of this. Um, that's towards the fender and the door. I just called him in, and he said that he didn't know what was going on. Maybe his parts puller grabbed the wrong part or something, um, but he's going to ship us out another one. Unfortunately, it won't be back till Wednesday. And I mean, it's a couple days out, so that's fine. I mean, we'll just go ahead and put that one on. The other side will just take care of it off camera. Um, as long as we can just get this thing off the lift, get our under tray still on there, put that on there, and then we'll start the body work on the car. Boom, take a look at that guys. We got our under tray all installed. Everything's looking good. Unfortunately, the passenger side fender liner was not the correct one. So we're gonna have to wait on that. And most likely, guess what? I'm probably gonna have to remove that to put it in. As you can see, it does butt in underneath this thing. So most likely this is hard plastic and I'm gonna have to remove all this. That's why I didn't put all, like, all your little clips in there and whatnot, because I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm gonna have to go ahead and remove all that all over again, just for that passenger side. But that's not a big deal, guys. Um, we'll just do that off camera. We got our lug nuts all in. All five of our lug nuts are per wheel now, like they're supposed to be. And everything else is all good to go. So now we can lower the car down and get started on the body work. We're gonna have to repair the trunk and that rear bumper, like I said before. So let's go ahead and get this thing all off the lift, pull it forward a little bit over here so we can have some more space to work around and get started on that body work. So here is our damage section right here. It looks like it's a two panel trunk partition. I'm not too sure yet. Have not taken it apart yet as well. Um, but looking at it, it does look like it. Luckily for us, we can keep the repair section right over here. We'll remove the badge and that way we can blend into this, not have to go into the quarter panels and all that stuff. And same with the bumper. The bumper's got a little bit of a dinger right over here. This will obviously match that once we repair it because when we paint it, we can feather that into there and then feather it out side to side. We do have um, to remove this AMG badge over here. We won't have to touch the quarter panel as well because when we blend it, we'll probably blend all the way up to here. So that'll match perfectly. As far as the bumper goes, there's just that scratch there. There is a little dinger right over here too. I think this is removable if I'm not mistaken. I'll look more into it when we get to it. There's a little one right over there too. And looks like there's one over here, one over here as well, one over here. Um, so we're just gonna have to go ahead and mark all these little spots real quick, um, get the trunk opened up. Hopefully there's access behind this thing and so we can pop it out and hammer out some of the dents and just, you know, body work it before we put filler. I don't like putting too much filler on anything like that. And especially something like that that opens and closes, I, I'd rather have it to a minimum. I didn't want to paint this whole thing when we did the, you know, hood, bumper and fender and the doors and whatnot when we blended it. I didn't want to do all that because we had the bumper on the stand I mean, the paint boot's already kind of small and it's just going to get too confined. And when you start doing that and you're trying to do multiple panels at once, especially when you have multiple repair panels, it just, I don't know. I'd rather do it separately. I mean, I have more room to do it and I can just tackle that project there and then get to this. I can take all my time on it. I'm not pressured. I'm not rushed or anything. And it'll come out perfect every time when you just, you know, have your mind all cleared up. But let's go ahead and get this trunk all opened up. We're going to go ahead and open it and hopefully get some access from behind. Um, let me go ahead and hit the unlock button on this thing. I really hope there is access from behind. I was looking at it earlier. I think there actually is. Um, if we go down over here, you can kind of see I was kind of prying on it a little earlier. And there's like some pop clips over here um, that pop off. The handle pops off as well. Behind the handle, there are hidden screws. One over there, one over there as well. Um, let's go ahead and just see how much of a pain this is. I don't think it's too big of a deal. Um, I've already got most of this stuff all, uh, loosened up, but it looks like it just hung over here on these two bolts. So we might be lucky. It might just be those two bolts and a couple more clips and that whole thing comes out. But I'm really hoping once we take this cover off that there is room to pop this out over here, which I don't know. We'll see. I guess we'll see. And you guys will see it as well.
right, so we got this uh, spoiler off and the damage is right there. As you guys can see, it's obviously covered. We do have a couple really small access holes. Um, there's two over here, one over here. Now on this one, I can get something in there possibly. My hand's probably somewhere around there, which is where that dent's at. Um, it's gonna be tough to get it out, but I think it's possible to get this thing out and uh, you know get it out as best as we can to minimize the amount of body filler on there. So let's go ahead and start knocking this out, getting the dent pulled out, and then starting the body work on it.
Guys, take a look at how this thing turned out behind me. I mean, this thing looks really good. We got all of our dents popped out. I mean, hammered and dollied. We got all of our low spots filled, all of our high spots hammered back down, glazed it, and finally primed it out. After numerous amounts of sanding and prepping and getting this thing to this stage, we are ready for the paint booth. On our next episode, we're gonna go ahead and take this thing back into the paint booth, get the rear section all taken care of, all blended in, and finally be completely done with paint on this car and hopefully go for our test drive. I am beyond excited for that, guys. And on top of all that, if you guys like what you guys saw, leave us down a comment, give us a shout out, you know, give us any tips or suggestions you guys may have. Also hit the like button, it helps the YouTube algorithm and share the video and all that stuff as well. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, what are you guys waiting for? Hit the subscribe button. But until then guys, we wish you guys a Merry Christmas from our family to you guys and your families and a Happy New Year's. Until then, see you later. Hey.